Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today we are back with how to grow sweet potatoes in backyard. Sweet potatoes are grown from slips, which are rooted sprouts from mature tubers. These tender rooted sprouts can be purchased by mail or sometimes as potted plants at a garden center. Sweet potatoes are starchy tubers that form underground like regular potatoes. But the hard leafed vine that produce sweet potatoes require a longer growing season that is 100 to 140 days and warmer soil than the kind of plant that produce regular white potatoes. Now, let's get into varieties of sweet potatoes. There are some varieties of sweet potatoes listed below. They are Beauregard, Bush Puerto Rico, Centennial, Georgia Jet. Now, let's get into steps to grow sweet potatoes in the backyard. Here are the steps to grow sweet potatoes in the backyard and it all starts with the sweet potato slip. The first is growing slips. Sweet potatoes grow from something called slips. Those are green vines that grow out of sweet potato when it sprouts. They are taken off and planted in the ground to create a new sweet potato plant. Once you have got your sweet potatoes, these are the ways to produce slips. The first is, stick toothpicks in the top third of your potato and set it in a jar filled with water so the bottom two thirds is underwater. Place the whole sweet potato on its side in a pot, seeding tray or shallow container filled with a pre-moistened, high-quality potting mix. Fill the container so the potting mix cover the bottom half of the sweet potato. Place your jars or containers of sweet potatoes in a warm, bright spot and wait. The slips typically emerge in a few weeks but it may take as long as two months. This means that you need to plan ahead to start your sweet potato slips about two months before you intend to plant them in the garden. The second step is separate the slips. Once the sweet potato tuber has sprouted, your next step is to separate the sprouts into individual slips that can be planted. Take each sprout and very carefully separate it from the tuber by gently twisting it. There may be already rudimentary root structure attached to the slip. Lay each slip into a shallow bowl with the bottom of the stem submerged in water and leaves hanging over the edge of the bowl. To keep your slips healthy, be sure to keep the water fresh and discard any slips that isn't producing roots or looks like it's wilting. The third step is choosing and preparing a planting site. The best soil for sweet potatoes is loose and rich in organic matter. In the garden, mix some well-aged compost into each planting hole and then plant slips 12 to 18 inch apart, burying the stem with soil straight right up to the first pair of leaves. If your soil is clay, rocky and compacted, consider raised beds. The fourth step is when to plant sweet potatoes. To produce a worthwhile harvest, sweet potatoes need 3 to 4 months of warm temperature. So, the key is to plant them early through enough for them to mature properly, but not early enough to make them get killed by late spring frost. The optimum temperature to plant sweet potato is 15 degrees Celsius and nighttime temperatures are above 15 degrees Celsius. The next step that is fifth step is taking care of sweet potatoes. The light requirement for growing sweet potato in backyard should be full sunlight but appreciate some afternoon shade in hot dry reasons. The soil requirement for growing sweet potato it should be sandier soil is preferable to dense clay soil, slightly acidic soil with pH between 6.0 and 6.5 is ideal. Sandy loam that's well drained but nutrient dense will make the sun loving tropical vine happiest. Now let's get into the water requirement for growing sweet potatoes in backyard garden. Sweet potatoes will tolerate growing in dry soil once established. It's best to keep it evenly moist with an inch of water once a week. Don't water your sweet potatoes during the final 3 to 4 weeks prior to harvest in order to keep the mature tubers from splitting. 
Now, let's get into the harvesting of sweet potatoes. The tubers are ready to harvest in about 4 months. If you like to eat the leaves as greens, you can do so in moderation throughout the season. Be sure to leave enough to keep the plant growing. You can dig out tubers once the foliage starts to yellow. If the foliage is hit by frost, the tubers are probably just fine. Just don't let them sit in the ground too long after the tops die back and they could not start to rot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.